Hi, in the previous video we created our first Angular project and we added Bootstrap to our project. We placed this button on the screen and styled it with Bootstrap just to show that our Bootstrap works. In this video we're adding a responsive navigation bar to our application. Let's go to the official Bootstrap website. I'm gonna expand it and we will go to documentation. And here you can go to the search bar and type navigation or navbar. And you can just click here. Or on the left side you can just scroll down to components and find this navbar here. Let's find this simple navigation bar. There are a few examples here. I'll be using this one. So there will be just a few links. And here below where it says HTML, I'm gonna click on this copy to clipboard icon. And when it's copied, I'm gonna go back to my application and I'm gonna expand it. And I will remove everything from here since we don't need it. And I'm going to paste it in here. Control V. Let's save it by pressing Control S. And let's see what it looks like. Let me go back to my application. As you can see, I have my navigation bar. Now, let me see if it's actually responsive. So if I'm expanding it to the full width, I have all navigation bar here. And if I go smaller, as you can see, my links are disappearing and they're supposed to show up when I click on this icon. Right now, as you can see, nothing is happening. The reason for that is I need to go to my Angular application and adjust my Angular JSON file. I'm going to open my Explore. Let me expand it a little bit. And if I scroll down, I can see my Angular JSON file. Let me open it. As you remember, we added this line of code to our styles. And this is what let me style that button that we placed on the screen with Bootstrap. For dynamic component like navigation bar, we need to put something inside our scripts. So I'm gonna click inside and just space it out. And in here, I need to reference another file that was downloaded with Bootstrap. Let's find this file. I'm gonna scroll back up. Let me make it a little wider click on node modules and I'm gonna scroll down to bootstrap. I'm going to go inside the bootstrap folder, distribution, JS, JavaScript, and I need to reference this bootstrap mean JS file in our Angular JSON file. So I could actually go here and start typing node modules forward slash bootstrap for distribution, but I can actually do it in a different way. I'm gonna right click on my file and click on copy path. Now I'm gonna paste this inside these quotation marks, control V. I don't need the whole string, so I need to delete everything in front of these node modules. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm gonna replace all these backslashes into forward slashes. I'm gonna save it by pressing Ctrl S. And I need to stop the application, Ctrl C, and restart it again, ng serve. It is successfully compiled, and let's look at our application. I'm gonna restart this application. Let's click on our menu, and as you can see, it works. Let's expand it, and as you can see, it works here. I hope this video was helpful, and thank you for watching.